So we are hiking. We're out. There's Alice. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. And we're out mushroom hike, hiking and hunting mushrooms. And we found, we, Alice, found Good some. Let me show you. Do we know what kind they are? I don't know. They have to, they have to test them. Okay, They're cool. They're clustered together. They could be what we call honey mushrooms. But I have to do some tests. So we're going to do... They, they don't look too buggy. It looks fairly fresh. So. Dig them up or cut them? I think since you can't really cut through without killing them all, I might just pop the whole thing up. But. Yeah. Well, if they're edible, then we you'll want to eat we, the whole thing. Right. So. They, they don't look too buggy from here. So. Let's just cut it. Oh, it came oh right look up. at that. And they've got gills, so they're definitely not bleats. Not bleats. See the gills under there. Oh, yeah, yeah yes. see the gills. Oh, that's a good picture. They do have fat. The, the, uh, see, I don't know what this is. It's not a honey mushroom like back at home because they have fat stems. So maybe I can find something that'll tell me what what this is. If they'll last in the refrigerator, well, I'm gonna do a spore test. But if they'll last in the refrigerator, I can get on the internet. When I can get on the internet, I can study a little bit about the locals. Yeah. Well, you'd think that there would be more along in here. Good eye, Alice. Don't see any more in here. The things you want to do. The things okay. you want to that's, do. That's a hint right there. Whatever kind it is, it always grows in clusters. Yeah, so that's that, number one. And it doesn't one. grow on a tree. It grows out of the ground, so, out of the mycelium in the ground. Ground, grows in clusters. Okay. Uh, a tight cluster. Um... Note the color because it's almost always the same. Sometimes variations. The stem has a yellowish to it, and it looks like when they first opened, they had veil, mm. that little ring. I but did. that's it's strong. But smelling. that's common on. They don't all have that veil though. So, mm -mm. so, but uh, so, and they're definitely attached to, together down there. So that way, if it's a good one, that the, you'll find them like that all the time, and. and if it was spongy on the bottom, it would be a bleat, but it has gills, so that gills. Bleep, yeah, you know the gills. Yeah, I call them spores. But and then some gills. some of those gills don't go all the way to the cap. See, some of them are only like half. That's that's yeah. that's a unique feature. Um, and it looks like it just stops dead right at the the cap stops dead right at the uh, stem. A lot of times. The, the gills will grow down the stem mm -hmm. or they'll go up into the stem so that those are different things too. I'm just going to change the thing because the wind's blowing. Let's cut her. Cut. Let's cut her Which up. one do you want? I don't care. Which, the color is important of the meat. Okay and it's it's kind of got a yellowish tint to it which is alien to me also. Mm. Still got that strong smell. I, yeah, it's pretty strong. I doubt strong. that it'll be good to eat. I mean, that's not very exciting smelling that to me. It might smell good to you, it doesn't to me. All right. And then. No. It doesn't the, smell good to eat. <laughs> and then to get the uh, spore. See, that one's going to be hard. It's going to be hard on all of them to get the spore print. Yeah, because they're. It's, well, it's, you it's, cut. Part of this off. It's cracking. You know why? Because it was too. It's dry for this one. Even it's not doing well. Anyway, take a picture of both sides and then lay it on the paper. You could split it in half. Or cut some of this off. So this, you want this to touch the paper? Or or to hover over it. Another one here. Boy, it sure is meaty looking. Thick. It's, it's crispy. That's it's crispy. That's unusual also. See that black stuff in the center of the stem? Yeah. Most of the bugs will go up the center. There's a little 
trail of, mm-hmm. of uh, bugs, but it's not bad enough. I mean, I, I'd, I'd eat it anyway. It looks like he's already, va- I'm not wearing my glasses, but he might have vacated already. I don't see him. But that's, when you're doing buttons, a lot of people think they've got a, a puff ball. I mean, it's important to uh, cut a puff ball down the center because it might not be a puff ball. It might be a poison, a poison amanita or death cap or something. A puff ball is totally white in the center, like pure snow white. But you'll have the form of a baby mushroom in it if it's not a puff ball. And that could save your life. So now you want to put them on. How long do you put them on paper? Overnight. Okay. Or a couple of hours. Sometimes they'll start. They'll shed. You might even this gray table might even reveal something.